hey guys so today I want to do a little tutorial on how to create cursive letters in design space so a lot of times you know when you get to you when you get a cricket and you start typing out the script font whatever script font you have whether you use the ones in design space or if you download your own and you start typing it out you know it comes out like this so today I want to show you how to make it cursive because that's what script font is supposed to be it's supposed to be cursive and a lot of times I do see shirts with what I have on the top they'll put their print out there they'll cut out their vinyl letters just like this and press it on the shirt and I just feel like it's just not how it's supposed to be unless that's the look you're going for you know I feel like these tails are meant to be connected so that's what I'm going to do today okay so I have my downloaded font which is Lauren script and I'm going to type out happy birthday because a lot of times I see like the birthday girl or the birthday boy or birthday queen that's real popular today and okay so first way that I do it because I feel like you can do it one way or you can do it another way you you click on what you just typed and then you ungroup it and you can just manually press the letter and then drag it over until it's where you feel is appropriate click a letter drag it over click a letter drag it over click a letter dra drag it over and I know some people might see say hey that's common sense and it's, that's duh but it's really not some people really don't know how to do this so I would drag this over so the space in between the happy and the birthday can be appropriate the B doesn't have a tail so I will leave the B where it is drag over the R um, I, even though that, that little tail on the R is real short I still connect it a certain way drag over the H drag over the D the A and the Y so that's how I would do it another way type happy birthday another way is basically how you can do it without having it so far apart so you would go to letter spacing and then just click the down arrow to decrease letter spacing until all of your letters are all your tails are touching another letter and the only thing I don't like about this is when you have like the letters without the tail is too close so instead of doing it one by one you can do it all together and then you make changes when that's done so you click on it you ungroup it and I can slide the B over a little bit and slide this R over just a little and yeah that's how simple it is to make cursive letters in design space cursive words um and when you actually go to cut these words see when you go to make it you see how they are all the letters are all scrambled up you have to actually weld weld the letters together so I'm going to get rid of this because I don't need it so basically you can press you can lift press the screen drag your cursor over the entire area that you want to cut um, and then you click weld and that makes it all one so when you go to cut now you see it's all together and it's real that's that's real simple that's all you have to do so thank you for watching and if you want any other 
how to's or tutorial videos just like and subscribe and comment let me know what you want to see let me know if there's anything that I can help you learn how to do because I'm learning too and so as I learn I want to try to teach others anything that I know that they may not know so thank you